G'day guys, how are you going? The caravan renovation industry is, is kind of going nuts. Like this van here, the guy said he got it for a, you know, two, three hundred bucks or something and he's been, been fixing it up. But it's very important before you start chowing your head and buying appliances that you, they must be fit for purpose. And I'll just show you this one with the cooker inside. Um, he's put a hot water system in, we're just putting a bayonet and a, um, and a cooker inside. But I'll just show you that it's really got to be fit for purpose. G'day guys, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. Um, we're just working on this caravan for a customer of ours. Um, so back in April 22, I think it was, where they, they changed the gas regulations. So these are the new bottles, um, flexies that you need to have on, on your caravan. Um, so yeah, they're, they're trying to get rid of it. And the main reason is, so when you turn it on, it's, it's got like a safety valve in there. And so the gas can't come out, right? They still work with the old, if you've got the old school, the new bottles still work with them, which is, which is great. Um, just with it, you know, compliance badges and stuff. But the main thing I want to chat to you about today is the um, cooker inside here is, is an outdoor model, okay? So you can see the guy is, he's an amazing uh, tradie, um, what he's done. So here's, here's the cooker he's installed, we'll talk about it in a second, but just everything he's touched is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, check out this piping too, um, that he's done for the hot water system, is all the bends and how straight it is. Um, it's just you know just absolutely beautiful what what he's what he's done as a you know sort of plumbing wise so he's done all the water and we've just done all the gas for it and stuff um actually offered him a job because this is like just beautiful um pipe work that's the thing with plumbers most of the stuff you see they put behind cupboards or or we bury it and it you don't really get to see so but if you can just keep it all plumb and and level and stuff like that's what my um tafe teacher back in the day mr humphreys g'day uh, mr humphreys if you're watching um, he's yeah. He always said, if a plumber can't keep his pipes plumb and horizontal, what good is he? Sort of thing. So it's always stuck with me. But anyway, I'll talk about this little um, stove that he's installed. He's put put this nice little stove. Like done a beautiful job on the bench top and everything like that. But the trouble is, there is no flame failure device. Okay, so if the wind comes in and blows this out, the gas will continue to continue to come through. Okay, so this is mainly an outdoor appliance. So if you're gonna spend time and money fitting something like this because you know that might be two three hundred dollars but just got to check if it doesn't have a flame failure device so this is the ignition rod so it should have one of those but there should be another little rod sticking in there and um, that's the flame failure device and all that is is if the gas ever blows out on the unit um, that little flame failure device or you know, the thermocouple they call it cools down and it doesn't allow electrical current which is hold, which supplies a magnet to hold the gas valve open and then that shuts the gas off, you know. So this one here, we um, you can see too on the on the outlet here it says you can see this is just this is what is left of here. So we won't be hooking that up today or ever because um, he's got to replace it and get a, a decent one, like a Dometic or Thetford, one of those ones, a proper one that's fit for purpose. So, but he's going to go away and um, yeah, modify the cupboards and everything like that. We've still we've just put the gas main to come up through here and just capped it off so in the future there'll be a gas valve on that and then we can, can connect it up until he's you know when he's when he's got it properly sorted but um yeah that's um that, that's all we're doing for that one so just to recap guys if you're ever gonna um never put a an appliance that is suited for outdoors uh in a unit like this it's got to have flame failure device very important especially you know when you're sleeping in here and stuff uh it's it's, it's super important so Anyway, stay safe and uh, keep these caravan renovations. It's, it's great to see these old things back on the road. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.